Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am in the truck. It's true, I'm in the driver's seat of the truck. Sam is at the dealership with Gabby and her car. They're just getting more stuff fixed on it. And because Gabby's getting her license soon. And he needs me to pick him up. And I'm driving the truck. I'm no, gonna try not. the truck. We're going to the car. Sophie thinks that I'm gonna kill her. Unfortunate. If you kill me. I'm she has no faith. Like, she has no faith in me. Nobody has you've faith never in me. Driven the truck before. Never driven the truck one single time in my life. Never driven the truck one single time in my life. But we're gonna do it, you guys. I'm not afraid. I'm not a chicken. Are you chicken, Sophie? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's do it, you guys. Okay. Um, I'm a die. We struggled to get out of the driveway. Wait. And she. Um, Can you see it? Push the. Yes, it's recording. Okay. And she could not get out of the driveway and a car was coming. So Sophie's afraid that I'm gonna kill her because I'm driving the truck. But how hard can the truck be? Why is it so zoomed in? You have to zoom it back. Okay. Sophie's afraid I'm gonna kill her, but how hard can a driving a truck actually be? It's the same as driving a van. Keep your eyes on the road. Although I have to admit, I almost killed her coming out of the driveway. Are you facing me? Yes, eyes on the road. Because the truck wouldn't go over the snow and when I started leaving the driveway there was no cars but then when I got halfway through there was a car and he was speeding toward me and he didn't even try and slow down while I was trying to get out of the driveway. He probably knew, but he probably thought that, that you knew what you were doing. He probably did think but after that it all went fine. The only hard no, part. No we're still dying. The only hard part is going to be parking this sucker. I know you guys have faith in me. Okay so Sophie and I are going to prank Sam and Gabby. I'm going to say that it took us so long to go and pick them up because I got pulled over by the cops driving the truck because it was hard for me to drive it. I got out of control. And the truth is that we stayed at home and ate breakfast before we drove the truck. And we almost died when we came out of the driveway. So I'm gonna prank them, but I'm not gonna be able to show you guys. I'm gonna have to hold the phone at my feet, or my camera at my feet. If I hold the phone, the camera up, he's gonna know it's a prank. And that's why it's so hard to prank on YouTube. YouTube pranks are mostly fake unless you can hide the camera because if a camera's pointed at you you know that it's a fake so anyway okay so i'm gonna try and pull off a prank and tell him that i got pulled over in his truck and got a ticket okay all right they're coming out I to the car all right now. okay here they come here they come i'm gonna say it okay you're getting in the back too <laughs> I got pulled over by the cops, so I couldn't get here very fast. Did you really? Yes, that's why you guys had to wait so long. They had this like ride check thing, and you had to drive through it. You couldn't try and drive around oh, it. Oh, we're at, uh, yeah, because we drove. Remember, Gabby, we were like, the cops are all sitting there in the corner. Yeah, they were all sitting there in the corner, and I couldn't get by. So I ended up trying to turn a corner. I tried to like turn around and go back, but I don't know how to drive this stupid truck. Oh yeah, we almost died coming out. So we almost died, and then for some reason I alerted them that they thought I was a murderer or something, and then they turned around and they put their lights on and followed me. Rebecca's like, I heard the sirens. Right. Do you need to go to Walmart or something? Yeah. We should go to the dollar store. I deserve you don't care money. that I got pulled over in your truck? <laughs> Why? I don't think you did, but anyway. But I had you there for a minute. <laughs> How's that yeah, we saw the cops there before and they were looking at the car and I'm like, ah. Uh, well, they didn't pull me over, so. <laughs> yeah, they pulled us over instead. Yeah, well, that was good. So you, it was almost believable because we saw the cops there, right? We saw the cops there. So. Oh, I ran so hard. I'm <laughs> acting like they were chasing us. I am <laughs> getting so better, you guys. I'm getting better. The clue is to not show them that you got the camera on. Hopefully, you guys heard all that. But he did See, think. That's what we did. So yeah, I, we almost yeah, did die. Yeah, the charger made it up, no problem. Yeah, I know. There's something weird about your truck. So I tried to. So there was no cars coming. I went to go out of the driveway, and then all of a sudden, the truck was like, "No, I don't really want to go up the driveway." And then a car came, and it was speeding towards me, and I was like gassing it trying to get up the driveway and the car didn't even slow down and then I finally got up the ga uh, the driveway but then I had all this gas and the car the truck went and then I'm like okay well we lived trucks have no weight in the back so uh, it's not, there's no traction Welcome to our new segment where we share riding videos or just videos of our subscribers 
with their horses so I wanted to share this little video that we got today unfortunately I don't know this girl's name or anything about her but it appears that she is at a horse show and this video makes me miss horse shows and summer and riding thank you so much for sending it in and if you want to uh, be featured in our videos send your videos to day by day intro at gmail.com it's a lot later we're in a blizzard we're in a blizzard you guys so Sophie had her um, concussion clinic appointment today and I want to fill you guys in because I think this is like such an important thing to talk about the unfortunate side effects of riding horses and it's sometimes what things that happen if you fall and everybody falls especially if you ride like three or four times a week or the more you ride yeah, we only, this is the first time in our lives that we've only ridden for a short amount of time. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys basically what happened and what he said. So basically, you guys know, Sophie fell on September the 1st and she had a bad concussion, went to the emergency room, her entire face swelled within seconds of her fall. She landed directly on her head. Her entire body was supported by her neck and her head. And because of that, she ended up having a concussion. At the hospital, they gave us a concussion protocol, which was like a six-day program on how to, to heal her head. Um, after the six days were over, we didn't actually take six days. We took like a good two weeks instead of the six days. It took us about two weeks to work through the pain and the symptoms of her injury so the six days turned into about two weeks was what ended up happening after that we went back to normal life sophie continued to live life normally but she ended up having headaches all the time sometimes like five six seven times a day she would have these headaches and they were triggered by like noise and by too much activity going on working on her computer using her phone music us talking too much like there were just so many things that would contribute to her getting these headaches so we did a follow Follow up at our doctor's office and he basically just said you know it can take up to a year after you have a concussion for everything to get better and for you to feel good and so we went home and we were like okay it's gonna take a year but then through some of you guys talking to me and then also some things that I've noticed with Sophie I started to feel worried about like what if there's something I should be doing that could prevent her from having issues in the future what if there is something that I'm not doing that's gonna create a situation where she is like has headaches for the rest of her life and I started to get worried fast forward to uh, yesterday she fell coming down to the barn she slid on the ice and she, she smacked onto the ground and her head shook and it gave her an instant headache and so I then was like okay I'm gonna call our chiropractor and to see if if she can get in and see what will happen and they told us at the chiropractic clinic that they have a um, a concussion clinic there so they scheduled her in and got her in for the very next day so that's the history and what happened today was today when we went there we he re he evaluated her and she seems really good and one thing that I that we told him was that for the first before Christmas her headaches were daily four five six so many times a day she would get a headache and have to remove herself from the room all the time over Christmas, she, that seems to slow down, and she would have like two headaches a day, three headaches a day, and then since Christmas, when everything slowed down over Christmas, he thinks that she, her brain was able to heal a little bit more, and she was just more quiet and more relaxed, we didn't have riding the way that we had been doing, and that she was able to heal more, and now today and yesterday, well, yesterday she had one headache, today she hasn't had any headaches, so she went from like five to eight headaches a day to now having three headaches a week. So we're moving in the right direction, finally. He doesn't think he needs to see her again. Um, he gave us a lot of tips and tricks and exercises. She used to do exercises. Did you see the exercises you have to do? No. Yes, you did. I saw them, so I'm gonna help her do that. And that's to strengthen her neck and to alleviate stress in her neck. And she's gonna- My neck's already st um, strong stress. because I, I landed on my head and I break. Yeah. <laughs> He said, kids like Sophie have an, uh, necks like jelly and they can and they can just absorb that kind of stuff. Unlike us, we would break for sure. 
Sam and I. So anyway, I'm so glad we went. He alleviated all of my concerns. He did a, a physical exam with her neck and he doesn't feel or see any kind of issue there. He just thinks that when Sophie had her concussion that it was so much more severe than than normal, than average for an average concussion. And so if you have a concussion that's this far down on a graph, then it's gonna take a lot less time for you to come back up to normal. If you have a concussion this far down and you're down here, it's gonna take a lot longer to come back up to normal. So that's basically, he showed us on a graph how like her concussion was just severe and that's why it's taken like five months to get to the point where she's starting to get better. And so that's it. That's the end of it. I wanted to talk about concussion issues because even he said we have such little information available out there and even at, even at the emergency room when Sophie went to the hospital they never really took it seriously and didn't really give us any information didn't really do much to help us they we have there's such little support for people with concussions and so I wanted to share with you guys the things that he said and if you have any questions just comment them below and I will try and answer them but that's the story of Sophie's concussion and I'll probably use a couple of pictures so that you guys can see um, what I'm talking about. I showed him, I was able to show him the pictures of her face within minutes of her falling. And he was like, whoa, like it was shocking. It was like, he said like, she's so lucky. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Tomorrow we'll be back with the horses. I promise I have an activity. It's something fun that I want us all to do. But let's go home, pray for us. Because like I said, it is a blizzard outside. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?